Do I have to pick one? I got I got a load. Yeah, well they're all they're all good mates of mine. I tend to sort of mix with them all. Um, spending a lot of time with Nicky at the moment because obviously he lives next door at Fingal, so we do a lot together. Uh, Lee Martin the same. Um, I'm very close to Jake and, and Holmesy as well at times. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I do get a lot of stick, and I don't know. Uh, it's like, like a few of them have said it to be fair. It's hard to find like. The, the right gear when you're six foot three and you've got really long long limbs and stuff you know it's it's difficult um but there's been a few rascal um pieces of clothing that have been worn i mean mj's has had stuff hung up before in the dressing room which is i've never had anything hung up so for that reason i'd probably say well no to be fair mj's gear is not too bad in in general but he does wear some rascal stuff um i think they're all they're all terrible and mine's probably the best yeah Tilly, oh yeah, Tilly. When Tilly's out on a night out, when Tilly's had a few in him, he's he's, he's a different person. He's uh, first on the dance floor and last off it as well. Is he on good moves? No, terrible. <laughs> but it's so funny, so funny. But yeah, he's, he's he's a completely different person, and he brings something completely different. I mean, we play football manager up on the bus. So away games quite a lot. So the back table is myself, Nicky, Lee Martin, and Troy, and we're all on it. So you have to probably pick one of them. I mean, uh, here comes uh, Nicky. He, he's what are you at the moment? It's in football manager. She batter football manager, don't you? Sassuolo. Sassuolo. And have you won the Champions League with them yet? Not yet, but you're close, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you, the question is, who's going to be a good manager? Yeah. Well, no, just a good manager. So I said, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, football manager. Uh, the stats don't lie, so it'd probably be be you. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd say Nicky. Yeah. Like the there. If anyone can tell me who Augsburg is, then crikey. <laughs> Troy, probably. He's a he's a big bit of kit. He's strong. Aaron's six foot five. Um, he, I'd like to think he's strong. I think Aaron Martin's probably quite clever, um, and he wears them glasses as well. Yeah, he, he, on the way on the way trips, you'll sort of get past a certain time, and the, the, the sun will just start setting, and he'll put these glasses on, and sort of gives him that look of a little bit of cleverness. What's the thing with Tom Hanks? I've seen that Castaway when he's stuck in Ireland. Yeah. So I'd get off it. You would, Pimmy. He, he knows how to escape an island, so. Me and Pimmy would be all right. We wouldn't catch any food anyway. So. <laughs> Jake likes to go and go a little bit. He, uh, he's always keen to get the gloves on and go and go for a few penalties. I wouldn't say he's any good, but he's keen. So yeah, I'd, I'd say Jake. Woody, Woody got fined this morning, actually. And I think that's the first fine since 2012. And he is absolutely raging about it. It wouldn't surprise me if he tried to play it in 50 pence pieces. Being late, he was late today. I think it was only three minutes, but late's late. So yeah, he's got a bit of a hefty fine to pay. Myself, Christy, Felix, Chris Wheel, and Jaden. Because with them four goalkeepers, there's no way we can see surely, <laughs> would we? Four goalies here, we couldn't concede five aside. Yeah, well, and Jaden, Jaden would be our outlet and get us a goal. <laughs> so that's not a bad five aside team. <laughs> <laughs>